Hello and welcome back to Subtech Online and uh, to this video on how to highlight duplicates in Excel. So we know that duplicates can often be a problem when working with large data sets as they can lead to errors in analysis and decision making. Fortunately, Excel provides uh, several ways on how you can quickly identify, highlight duplicates or even eliminate them. So in this video, I'm going to show you, or we are going to take a walk through in four different ways on how we can highlight those duplicates and eliminate them. So the first one we are going to look at how you can highlight duplicates in a single column. Then we shall do for double columns or more than one columns. Then after that, we shall look at how you can highlight out rows that are having duplicates, which means a row with all the columns that are filled with data one or three or four uh, all highlighted at once then we shall look at on another option or a criteria where you'll be highlighting the whole row uh, that has duplicates then the last one is going to be uh, returning uh, the duplicates uh, in, from the rows. So uh, please stay around and uh, we go through all the four together. So let's get started. Uh, so the first one we are going to look at, how do you highlight uh, duplicates? So I will start with, um, I will start with uh, uh, clearing the duplicates that I'm already having. So we go to home, condition formatting, clear, then I'll clear what have uh, what is selected. So I've cleared everything that are highlighted as duplicates. So how do you do the highlighting of duplicates? So you select the range of data or the array. So I'll click on this one, control shift down arrow. I select the whole range, go to home, condition formatting. You go to highlight cells with rules. You look for duplicate values. Here we go. The moment you click that, it will pop out for you a dialog box where you have to uh, select uh, what you need, all the colors and everything, but I will always leave it as default and you do OK. So it will highlight for you all the duplicates that you have in that row or in that range you'll have selected. Now, if we are dealing with two rows that are adjacent, not near each other, I will select the first uh, the first data in the first row, press a control, select the second in the other row, uh, column, control shift down arrow. So I've selected two ranges. I want to find duplicates that are in this range that is collection A and collection B. So I will go ahead, home, uh, conditional formatting, highlight, then I highlight duplicates. I will do OK, go with that. So which means that here we have five duplicates. Here we have five highlighted, which means we also have to have five highlighted here, meaning that all what is highlighted here in collection B is existing in collection A. So that is the first way how you can highlight duplicates in Excel. So we go to the second. So the second is finding the whole duplicate row. So uh, meaning that the 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 information in product the product the quantity and the amount all of them are the same so how do we do that i will first still clear what we already have so i will clear this uh, for this we use a, a formula which we concatenate all this for us to get a unique id so i'll use equals to concat so we use the form uh, the function concat then you select the whole row and enter so you'll be getting just a moment we put this to journal so we shall we shall be getting uh, a combination of all the columns in that row so this is it so uh, fill this one downwards so these are the unique ideas we have so which means i'll go ahead leave this selected go to condition formatting and i say highlight duplicates so the moment i do okay it will be showing me showing me that this row is having a duplicate in this data that we are looking into so we have two pairs of duplicates so if you wanted to hide this you can go ahead and uh, go to uh, formatting font uh, here you go to more number formats 
but the only option you can also use in case you don't have to get to this you can all do so do control one on your keyboard so it will give you this dialog box caption then you change the general word uh, into three you type three semicolons so the moment you type three semicolons that is a trick of hiding uh values so the values are there in the back end but they are hidden so you remain with only the highlight which means someone can look at this is a duplicate this is a duplicate so the moment i change uh one of them here if i copy this and paste it here automatically this one will also that show that uh, i have got a duplicate so we have uh, three pairs of duplicates so that's how you present or you uh, highlight out a full row that is a duplicate so the moment you have people doing data entry they can easily tell that what i've entered now has already that entry has already been done okay we move to the third using a formula so i'll first clear all uh the formatting i have here uh, so i'll go to clear and i clear selected uh, even i will clear the formulas that we have here so uh the first thing if you wanted to get duplicates in uh, the product column so i will come to the product column you can create a formula in another column that is column a i'll do count if we go with count if now what are we counting we are counting if in this range uh from uh before so i'll tape this before from before if it is greater than one so uh what do we mean here that we are counting in that array if there is anything that is counting more than one which means the moment counts more than one that's a duplicate so the moment i enter it tells me a false which means when i fill this where we find a true uh let me do the first option we went with if i highlight duplicates here and okay so everywhere you find a true you'll see that that's a duplicate so you can go ahead and uh uh use the true as the duplicates or you remove them or you eliminate them so the option of eliminating uh, i will show it from here if you want to eliminate uh, duplicates you select the whole column or that range you go to uh condition of, you go to data then we have an option here of remove duplicates so the moment you do remove duplicates that's column f that is selected then you do okay there we go nine duplicates have been removed and here you remain with uh the you you, you remain with uh, the unique values okay let's look at the formula again now uh in case we need to select uh the whole of this uh we'll i'll remove this condition formatting we had put i'll clear that so i'll go to clear clear selected so i'll clear that now we can do the same thing have a unique id that is equal to concat um you select from the first to the last in that row the data you have uh still i'll do a control one first do general again we look at this so here we go so i'll drag this fill it down so the moment i already have my shortcut here so i can say duplicate and these are the duplicates so again to make you remember that hiding the values you do a control one and change on custom change the general into three semicolons boom you'll have uh, the values hidden for your neatness now uh in case we needed to add something like an emoji for any duplicate then we can also do that i'll say equals to we do uh count if we do count if and we are counting if this range uh from this one uh from e4 uh if anything is greater than one so if anything is greater than one automatically it will give us a false and if anything is great uh, less it automatically it will give us uh sorry it will give us a true and uh, if we don't have duplicates it will give us a false now if i go ahead 
and I want to add an emoji, then I will say if I will add another, I will nest that formula and add if this one is true, what should we get? So I will need an emoji, open quotes. Now to get an emoji on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, you'll press the Windows button with a full stop. If you are using a Mac, you'll press Control Command Space. So the moment I do control command space, I'll get my emojis here. Then I can use this X as my emoji uh, for duplicate. So I will cut that, open and close. Then if I don't have duplicates, in other words, if it is false, I will just bring a blank space by uh, putting two semi, two uh, 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 inverted commas. Uh, without anything in the middle. So you close this and enter. So since we don't have anything there, that's why you see it is blank. So if I drag this, it will automatically show me the emoji, which is the X now, that we have a duplicate here, we have a duplicate here, but something is wrong. It is missing out this, and this is what it is. So we always forget to do this. You need to lock that range, such that the range stays uh, a constant so we shall need to lock the range sorry uh, we shall need to lock the range from here so we shall need to lock the range from e4 to e18 by pressing f4 on your keyboard if you are using mac it is a control then f4 so there we go so which means if i drag this one down it will be highlighting all the duplicates where they are and it will be putting the emoji, which is an X. Okay, I think there we are good to go with the third option where we use formulas to find duplicates. Then there is another option we can go for highlighting the row itself. That is very simple. You'll select all your data, then uh, you go to uh, condition formatting, this time I'm going to use a rule. I'm going to create a new rule. So the moment I click on creating a new rule, there are many rules here and styles. I don't want to use them. I will come directly to custom. So when I go to classic, it will give me an option here of choosing that by the way, I will need to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So which formula do I need to use? Uh, the formula I need to use, I want to use a formula that you remember here, uh, we have true and false. So I'll say uh, this one equals to this cell. If this cell is equal to open quotes, we bring again our emoji, uh, Windows uh, full stop, or if you're using Mac, uh, control command, uh, here it is. Uh, that's the emoji, then I close the quotes. Uh, if you need to change the formatting, you can go ahead here, change the formatting as how you need it. You customize it, but I'll go with the default one. Oh, let's customize it. So if you want to customize this, I'll go and fill on color. I give it maybe uh, a yellow or an orange that is too sharp. I'll go with that then I do OK. So which means anywhere they will find a duplicate, the whole row will be highlighted with that color. So I'll do OK and then uh, something, uh, OK. Uh, here we shall manage rules. Uh, we look at the rules we have. Just a moment. Uh, selecting this again, I'll do manage rules. Uh, something we need to manage uh, editing this now uh, here you have to make sure that it is only the column that is fixed but the row has not to, it is not meant to be fixed so I'll remove the dollar such that as we go downwards uh, the row has to change from four five six seven downwards so we are leaving the column fixed so the moment you do that and okay then okay automatically my rows which are duplicates will be highlighted so the moment i change something here if i changed this and change it to one it will automatically 
reduce on the duplicates i uh, take it back if i change this to one it means i will have changed on uh, they are no longer duplicates because this and the other one were duplicates when they were the same but now they are no longer duplicates so that is it guys now number four that is the greatest how do you return duplicates so uh we are going to use a filter function go to filter then you select the whole array which is this then comma we are going to count now that's now what do we need to include we are going to include now a condition count if we have already used this function in this range comma the criteria if the whole of this is greater than is greater than one and uh, a comma uh, we uh, okay uh, close this and enter so it is going to bring for us all uh, the, the all uh, all the, the duplicates so the moment i copy this and uh, paste it here you see the number of duplicates will increase now in the some scenario if this is not arranged in order you can arrange this by using a sort function so you shall add here a sort function so that is sort and uh, you sort the whole of that function then we use a default of one that is ascending and there you go so you'll find that this is independent and this is independent and that is independent guys that is it uh continue watching videos we have on our channel if this video has been helpful to you please leave a subscription and please uh don't uh, forget to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment uh for us to create more videos like this bye bye meet you in the next video